everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm on my way to somewhere a little bit different. It's a place I've not visited before. I'm not going to say too much about it now, so it can be a surprise for you when we arrive. I should say though, a big welcome to any new subscribers that are watching. It's great to have you along with me. And I hope you're going to enjoy the journey. Hi, and thanks for joining me. quick refueling stop over a hundred pounds it's ridiculous isn't it 111 pounds the tank wasn't even empty crazy it's a longer trip than usual for me I'm about five miles now from my destination I think the journey is about 65 miles so not long and I'll be there. Very different countryside now. It's very level. Hello. Hello there. That's very kind. Thank okay, you very much. Thank you. This is extremely busy. <laughs> I'll pull up and I'll explain where I am and what it's all about. Well, let me tell you where I am. I'm at the Shuttleworth collection near Biggleswade. It's a collection of old flying machines and old vehicles. There's a historic house here as well to look at. It's Heritage Open Days week and that's the reason why it's so busy. Heritage Open Days is an initiative partly by the National Trust where every year there's a period of about 10 days where museums, other attractions, all sorts of properties open their doors and they do something slightly different. And one of the things that many do that is different is they give free admission we do this at the museum where I volunteer, the Western Zorn Pumping Station. Last Sunday we gave free admission and we were in steam and normally we charge for that. And the charge to come in here I think is normally about £19.50. Well today, and it's the only day within the 10 days that they are open and giving free admission, and I thought wouldn't it be wonderful to come along here and see what it's all about. I knew it would be busy, but I am blown away by just how busy it is. So I will start wandering in a minute and we'll get to have a good look around. I doubt I'll do much talking in between. <laughs> it will be very much of that visual look around, I think, on this occasion, because there's going to be lots of people. It's going to be difficult, I think, to see some of the exhibits. So let's see how I get on. It's great to have you along with me. This is a map of the site that I've just been given. I did actually download one of these yesterday. I always like to have a plan with me so I know where I am and where I'm going. So there are the buildings where the actual Shuttleworth collection is located. There's gardens, a woodland walk, a lake, and then there's the house. 
I think I'll go and look at the collection first, then probably the house, and after that look at the gardens. But it is the collection of aeroplanes and historic vehicles that interests me the most. Detailed captions will appear on the screen for many exhibits. If anything is of particular interest, please pause as soon as they appear to read fully. It is a bit difficult when filming to tell where one plane stops and another starts, <laughs> as you can probably see. I've taken quite a lot of still shots. I think it's easier to show you what's here doing that than keep walking around. But uh, I'll give you a mix of both anyway.
Just now, this hall was full of people and suddenly it's emptied out. <laughs> so we can have a better look around. There really is a lot to see here. I've been in several of the sheds so far. I've still got a couple more to look at. I didn't realize it was as large a collection as it is. I didn't want to do too much research because having not been here before I wanted it to be a surprise for me but the Shuttleworth collection is very well known I used to live in Stevenage many years ago which isn't far from here so it's a sort of local collection in that way but this is my very first visit I would have remembered if I'd been here before I did wonder if I'd come over 40 years ago but I think the answer is no
Well, I'm now going to go into the house and have a look around. I don't actually know how much of a house we can see, but we'll soon find out. Well, I'm in. Let's have a look around, shall we? The house is now used as a wedding venue for afternoon tea and offers conferencing facilities. Well, I'm just walking back to where the hangars are. I'm going to go through the Swiss garden, see what that's like. <laughs> I actually want to nip into the shop, see if I can get a guidebook. I do like to buy guidebooks for places I visit. Some information is available online, but very often it's not complete. So a guidebook is a good way of doing things. I would think this is a lovely walk when the flowers are in bloom. I can see places where there should be a lot of colour. That is the entrance to the Swiss garden. I'm going to do the woodland walk, which is this way. I'm trying to get back to the hangars so I can go to the visitor centre where the shop is. I think this is the most direct route.
I'm walking this way and now that way. I've just turned round because this is one of the most confusing maps I've ever seen. It's rather like a maze. Well, I'm amazed at how long I've been here. There's just so much to see, can't take it all in. When I'm filming, I'm not really looking closely at the exhibits I'm trying to film so I can make a vlog for all my viewers to watch. But I've had a great time here. Really has been very good. Sounds like something noisy is coming up behind me. It's one of those uh, golf buggy type things. <laughs> now I was saying I've had a great time here. Really enjoyed it. It's thinned out. There are not many cars left. Just have a walk past the hangars, shall we? I think I'd be happy to come back here and pay an entrance fee. There's so much on to see. Last look at the charabang there. <laughs> well, this has certainly changed. This was full of cars when I came in here. You can just see the van in the back there. I'll be glad to get in the van and have a sit down actually. And have something to eat. <laughs> I did have a quick bite before I left, but uh, not much. I've thoroughly enjoyed my look around the Shuttleworth collection and I hope you have too. I've been here for many hours, there's so much to see. When I'm filming it is difficult to really take a good look at the exhibits because time goes so quickly. But I'm pleased I've come, I'd be happy to come back and pay an admission fee and spend a little bit longer just studying some of the exhibits rather than casually walking past, which is mainly what I've done. But it's been great been well worth coming to and as I say I will probably come again sometime <laughs> I don't know when that will be <laughs> I like to get out and about and I haven't been doing much of that recently so that's that for this uh, episode as it were I hope you're all keeping safe and well looking after yourselves your friends and families take the utmost care until next time for now. Bye everyone.